choices, choices, choices is the word for today. So I remember when I was uh, back in high school, you know, uh, my friends would, would date, you know, good looking girls and they would dress nice and some of them will have cars. And, you know, I had to date whatever, <laughs> whatever was available. <laughs> and obviously the ugly ducks, you know, I had to dress, I had to borrow clothes from my friends so I can fit in. And I will take the bus, you know, everywhere, everywhere I go, because I didn't have a car. You know, I didn't even have nice clothes. I didn't even have nice shoes. And um, and those were choices, you know. You, you, if you don't get your money right, your kids are not going to have choices. And you are not going to have choices, you know. And, and now, I can't say that. I can get anything I want because I cannot buy a, a plane, you know. Uh, but I, I pretty much, you know, I live probably in one of the nicest houses in 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 Orlando where celebrities would probably live. I probably drive, you know, uh, some of the nicest cars, you know, at least a hundred thousand dollar each or more. Um, I can travel wherever I want. I can put my kids in the best schools. Um, I can uh, decide at what time I want to wake up. I can decide at what time I'm going to go to bed. Uh, I can decide what kind of clothes my kids are going to wear and what car my daughter is going to drive and what college my daughter is going to go. So money gives you choices that being broke, you only take what's available, okay? And what am I telling you this? is because you can't be selfish. You can't be selfish and only think about you because you're selfish and you don't want to actually develop the right skill set that requires to have a life full of choices. You know, and I've been telling you this, it takes a good full year. Good full year of a skill set that generates cash flow in the internet. The other day, I gave you the top 2018 uh, internet strategies to create cash flow. Go look up that video. Pick one and devote yourself for one year to master that skill set. And you have to be realistic. You might say, hey, I want to master e-commerce, but you're completely broke. It might not work because you're broke. Okay? But if you're broke, you can actually, you know... Uh, uh, Start, you know, building, you know, a following, building a list of people that actually, you know, like you and trust you because you're giving value. You learn from Coach Johnny, then you create your own value video. Or you learn from Ty Lopez, then you create your own version of the video, you know. And, and then you start, you know, learning how to sell. So you can have cash flow, so you can hire a mentor one day, you know. That's, that's what I did. That's how I made my first million dollars. First, I clean up my head, okay? Very important, I clean up my head. After I clean up my head, I started to learn how to sell, how to sell. And then I, I, I generated 10, 10 grand and I hired a mentor that taught me traffic, you know? And, and then I, le <coughs> I learned CPA marketing which at that time was hot, 
and I made money, you know? So, and I devoted two years of my life into CPA marketing, two years of my life, okay? Two years of my life. Now I can have choices. You know, it's 5.08 p.m. and I literally pick up the car and I'm driving through Disney and I'm just having coffee and I said, oh, I'm gonna do a video. I can choose what I do, okay? I don't have to check in anywhere. Well, tomorrow I have to go to Vegas for the event, but usually I decide what, what to do and at what time to work. Choices, choices. Because, because I earned it. Because I focus on skill sets that actually allow you to have complete freedom, okay? Complete freedom. Go watch my video opportunity for 2018 and pick one be realistic you know be realistic pick one and devote a full year of your time to make it work a full year okay and then one day you're gonna look back and you're gonna have choices okay choices you're gonna decide who you want to date. You're gonna decide what car you're going to drive. You're gonna decide where you want to live. You're gonna decide where you want to travel. You can decide what kind of clothes your kids are going to wear. You know, all those cool things that when you got your money right, as Uncle G will say, you have to get your money right. You have to get your money right, okay? How do you get your money right? You start with having nothing negative around you. It cannot be your, your girlfriend, your wife, if you're, a, if you're a male, your friends, your brothers, your uncles, Nobody can be negative. Then you have to learn how to attract and be persuasive. Attract and be persuasive is one of the. Look at Ty Lopez. That's all he does. He knows how to attract and he knows how to be persuasive. That's why he makes so much money. And obviously he knows how to go viral. Okay? If you don't know how to sell, you won't even be able to get a job. Period. Sales should be taught in every high school. If more people will know how to sell, the economy will be way, 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 way better. Way, 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 way better. There will, there will not be any, not many, not many, you know, living on welfare and government checks or, or payday loans and all that crap. You have to start getting books about persuasion, attraction and persuasion, especially if you are broke. Because, you know, there are people that don't wanna, don't wanna do that. They just wanna master traffic and sell. They don't wanna talk to anyone. But still, you still need those skill sets. But anyway, choices, choices, choices. For example, tomorrow I'm flying to Vegas until Monday. 
and I have nothing, nobody to ask permission where I'm going. How would your life feel if you don't have to ask for permission anymore? No permission. Okay? No permission for where you're going. Okay? And even when you are in Vegas, you're still making money while you're there. How cool would that feel? That you're traveling, you're traveling, you don't have to ask for permission, and you're still making money while you're there. Wouldn't that be the dream life for you? Of course. That's a dream life. That's a dream life, you know, where you're making money while you are traveling. You know, my another another example is my kids' spring break. They're telling me they want to go to Mexico. They want to go to Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Cabo, Cabo, Cabo. I told them I'm going to take them to the border. We're going to cross the border. That's going to be the trip. I was scaring them. I said... I told them that's a cool trip. You cross the border, you hang out with the with the coyotes. It's a great experience. You're never gonna forget about that. They're scared. They don't want to go now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna take them to Mexico. Spring break. But I remember five years ago, my kids will tell me that you know. All our friends go to spring break. And we don't go anywhere for a spring break. Yeah, baby, one day, one day, I'm studying. I'm studying so I can become a millionaire. I'm studying so I can become a millionaire. You know, so I was reading every day. Reading and reading and reading and reading and reading. I will pass out with a book. You know, reading. So, now I can take him to Mexico. And my country, Peru, finally they're going to the World Cup. Finally they're going to the World Cup. So I'm looking for tickets to go to Russia to watch Peru. And then my wife never being in Italy. I've been there twice. She won't, she's never been there. So I'm going to take her to Italy to have some romantic dinner. Choices, choices. Those are choices. That when you master the skill set that I'm telling you, you can have choices. You can have better choices. But you need to understand the process. There's a process. And you have to pay the price. I know. Everybody wants to automatically be instant millionaires. I know that. I wanted it too. I wanted it too when I was in my crappy car listening to Tony Robbins, listening to Frank Kern. Listening to Russell Branson, listening to uh, to um, Les Brown, and I was listening and listening and listening and listening. I will not listen to radio. I will listen only to amazing things in my in my head. I will put amazing things in my head. You know, I was curious for a better life. I wanted I wanted to be a millionaire so bad. I want it. You know, I didn't have choices. I told you, I was dating the ugly chicks because I was broke. And my ugly friends that had more money, they were dating the nice looking ones. You know, even until five years ago, I was reviewing and I was thinking about who I was dating. I was dating all the ugly chicks, man. Oh my God, all the ugly chicks. We're having this piece of candy. Come on. This chocolate baby. Because you get what you can when you're broke. You know? <coughs> I remember I was taking, when I met Taylor, she was the only um, good looking one that actually didn't care about money. I got lucky. I got lucky. But because I was already with a mindset of a millionaire, right? So that attracted her. And my car <coughs> was a 
one door will not open, so I will park it, I will, I will, I will meet her like always at a, at a place, right? So I will invite her to the movies and I will park the car so far away at the movie. So at the end of the movie, I will walk her to her car so she will not see my car. And then, uh, and then she'll leave and then I go and get my car because I was embarrassed of, of the car. And, um, <laughs> and then <laughs> one day, you know, I invited her, I invited her to the na to my house, you know, it was a par an apartment and uh, it was in, in a, in the area of, of the rich because I was coaching the rich, right? The rich kids uh, soccer. So I live in an apartment in the nice area. So she thought, oh, this guy has probably money. <laughs> so I took her to, a, to my apartment and then she... Before she entered the apartment, she was she wanted to turn around and leave because of that crappy place that I live, you know. And then when I opened the door, my mom was living with me, so she was like, "Okay, broke and living with his mom." <laughs> it was hilarious, but I made it. I made it because of my persuasion skills. I made the sale. I made the sale, baby. Okay, <laughs> but I was already in the mindset of of, of becoming rich, so she kind of liked that. So she she believed she believed it, I guess. But anyway, choices, guys, choices, choices, choices. Are you going to put the time, even if it's two hours a day, two hours a day for a full year? You're gonna accomplish more things than most people. Because most people go like super hard for like 60 days and then they quit. Okay? Two hours a day for a full year. It's like, how do you how do you take a tree, a big, big, big tree? You hit it five five times per day. Pa, 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 pa. Eventually that tree is gonna fall down. Okay, because you're consistent and you're hitting it. Pa, pa, five times. Pa. It's the same thing, you know? You start doing things, even if it's one, two hours, for a long period of time. You have no idea all the beautiful things that can happen because of that. Anyways, guys, have an amazing day. I'm gonna go continue with my ride and having my coffee. Love you, bye-bye.